Okay, so anytime you are wanting to draw a Lewis dot structure, the very first thing you need to do is write out the molecular formula. Next, you need to count the total number of valence electrons. Third, you start drawing your Lewis dot structure by placing the least electronegative atom in the center. Fourth, you need to draw single bonds to connect the central atom to all of the other atoms. You typically want to draw the most symmetric structure you possibly can. Fifth, you need to fill in remaining electrons by following the octet rule. And finally, sometimes you'll have a couple different options. So the best Lewis structure minimizes formal charge. And if you have to have a formal charge on some of your atoms, you want to assign negative formal charges to more electronegative atoms. And finally, the sum of formal charge should equal the overall charge. Formal charge is the charge an atom would have if electrons were shared completely equally. The formula for calculating formal charge is number of valence electrons minus the sum of the number of unshared electrons plus half of the number of shared electrons. So let's do an example. Draw the Lewis dot structure for water. So if you remember, the first step is to draw the molecular formula. The second step is to count the number of valence electrons. So oxygen is in the sixth column or sixth group of the periodic table. That, so that means that each oxygen has six electrons. And hydrogen is in the first group of the periodic table. So each hydrogen has one electron. So that means we have a total of eight electrons. So now that we know that water has eight valence electrons, we can start drawing our Lewis dot structure. So we start by putting our least electronegative atom in the center. And there's a caveat, actually, because hydrogen's never in the center, typically. So even though oxygen is more electronegative than hydrogen, it still goes in the center. So we put oxygen in the center. And then we're just going to draw a single bond to the other atoms connecting them to the central atom. The fifth step is to fill in the remaining electrons by following the octet rule. So, so far, and let me show you the dot form as well. So far, oxygen only has, so far we've only put in four electrons into this water molecule. So we still need to add four more electrons. So we can do that by putting in lone pairs on the oxygen. So now water, everything in water is happy because oxygen has a complete octet and hydrogen doesn't follow the octet rule the same way that oxygen does because it only needs two electrons to have a full sublevel. So then the next step is you want to check your formal charge. So the formula for formal charge is your number of valence electrons minus one half of your bonding electrons plus your lone pair electrons. So let's try calculating the formal charge for the oxygen in water. So we know that oxygen has six valence electrons. We can get that from the periodic table. And you subtract off half of the bonding electrons. So we know that oxygen is bound to one hydrogen here and bound to one hydrogen here. And in each one of these, it's sharing two electrons. So in formal charge, we're saying that it's being shared equally. So we're just only going to subtract off one for each bond. So we're going to subtract off one, two, plus the lone pair electrons. So we're going to subtract off one, two, three, four, five, six. So we'll do six minus two plus four. So we got the two electrons from half of each one of these bonds and the four electrons from these four lone pairs. So that formal charge is six minus six, which is equal to zero. So that means this has a formal charge of zero. 
We can do the same thing for hydrogen. Hydrogen has one valence electron. It doesn't have any lone pair electrons, but it does have two bonding electrons. So we just do one. We'll do one minus one, because it's just half of these bonding electrons, is equal to zero. So each one of these hydrogens has a formal charge of zero. So this is happy because all of our formal charges are zero, and our octets are all completely full. So this is a very happy Lewis dot structure. All right, let's do a second example, CH2O or formaldehyde. Draw the Lewis structure for formaldehyde. Okay, so we always start by drawing the molecular formula. So the molecular formula for formaldehyde is CH2O. Next, we need to count the number of total valence electrons. So first we look at the periodic table and carbon is in group 4A, 2s2, 2p2 are its valence electrons, so it has four valence electrons. Hydrogen is in the first group on the periodic table, so each one of its, it, each hydrogen atom has one valence electron. And oxygen is in the sixth group of the periodic table, group 6A has 2s2, 2p4 valence electrons. So total, Total, we have 12 electrons, 12 valence electrons. Okay, so now that we know that formaldehyde has 12 valence electrons, we can start by drawing the structure. So we want to always start by putting the least electron at the least electronegative atom that's not hydrogen in the center. So in this case, that's carbon. And then we're going to continue by just connecting carbon, the central atom, to all the other atoms. So, so far, this is our Lewis dot structure. So, so far, we've put in two, four, six electrons. Now we need to put in six more electrons, and we need to make sure that everything fulfills the octet rule. So we can put six more electrons on the oxygen to make sure oxygen has a full octet. All right, so so far, oxygen fulfills the octet rule, but carbon does not. So what we can do is we can move one of these pairs of electrons down so that carbon and oxygen are sharing two pairs of electrons so that both of them will have an octet. So let's redraw this structure. Or, if we're drawing with lines instead of dots, so that's our Lewis dot structure for formaldehyde. And we can double check all of the formal charges. Oxygen has six valence electrons. We can check all of the formal charges. Oxygen has six valence electrons, so we do six minus one, two, three, four, five, six. So oxygen has a formal charge of zero. And carbon has four valence electrons, so we do four minus one, two, three, four. So carbon has a formal charge of zero. And hydrogen, we simply do one minus one, so it has a formal charge of zero. And the other hydrogen is also one minus one, so it also has a formal charge of zero. So this is a, this is a good Lewis dot structure because everything fulfills the octet rule and all of the formal charges are zero. So again, we've got a happy... Lewis dot structure.